time. This is the third place I remember living in the top floor. Um, I just want to show you this is the basement and this is where I had to shower. I didn't go to sh the shower every day. I don't even think I went there every month. But um, I was living here mostly by myself because my mom wasn't there. Um, she wasn't there in the morning when I got up and she wasn't there when I went to bed in the evening. So I was living by myself and I was not starting at school yet. So I was pretty young. I'm now walking to show you this. It's hard to see, I know, sorry. But it's the neighbor's house and I remember that I went there once and we were playing with some pain and I was so jealous at the kids living here because they had the mom home. She was there, she was playing with us. She was not even only there, she was playing with us. That was unbelievable. I wish that was my mom, I tell you. My mom was never there, never. And their mom was home all the time and they were living in a house with a proper bathroom. I had to go shower in the basement and that was pretty fucking cold, I tell you. I'm walking down the street to find another house that had a big impact on my person, my my life at the time and, and who I am today. Uh, this is the house. There was living a man and a wife. I, I believe they're married. I, I don't know why, but they had a little dog as well. And um, every time I, I needed any comfort from adult people, I went to this house. They couldn't have children, so they had the dog and there were, there were horse people that went riding, so they brought me to ride at this pony. And that's when I were introduced to, to horses. I just showed you here a path to, to a lake where I went a lot to as well. Uh, there was a swans, swans, sorry, sorry, uh, swans uh, in the lake and once one of them bit my hand and that was pretty painful. Um, I was really scared that it would drag me down the the water and, and kill me that way, but I was lucky. This is the end of the street, uh, another street is starting, but um, my mum used to live in in a workstation in the Copenhagen city, um, but she also had a job here in, in, in the shop here it used to be called HH H. Low Price. Now it's a netto. Um, <laughs> time changes and that's okay. But uh, I had lots of fun in this shop. Uh, there used to be a butcher there and I learned a lot about meat. Um, I also remember that we had a rat in, in one of the toilets and I was really scared of this rat. I didn't know what a rat was. But everybody seems like was disgusting and and really really dangerous so <laughs> I was scared of the rat. I'm just walking a little further here to show you that um, there's a little there were a little shop where uh, I could buy candy and sometimes I got five kroner and went to buy candy. Now I'm trying to show you the bus stop um, because I had to go in the morning and get the bus. I can't figure it out. I'm a little stupid. So I have to turn around and I know I can show you. Look at this. <laughs> right there. And we went that way. And um, I'm showing you now. But just over here there was a, a little wooden shop uh, where I could buy my candy. And once my mom gave me a hundred kroner, and I lost them. It blew away in the wind and I was so scared because I knew it was a lot of money but it wasn't that much. This fast forward is um, is um, 
the path I had to take when I I didn't take the bus in the morning. If I prefer to take the the train, I have to take this walk. Um, I had to take this trip every day to to get to the kindergarten. Um, that was just my life, and and I was pretty lucky. Every morning and every afternoon, I had to go this way. Um, this way in the morning and the other way in the afternoon. And one afternoon there was a lady coming towards me. I was walking the other way, so she was coming up from behind and talking to me like she knew me. And I told her that my mom taught me not to speak to strangers. And she blamed that she was my mom. And that's a proof that I didn't see my mom enough to know who she was. I didn't recognize my own mom at the street. She claimed that she got her hair colored and it was really red, but still, wouldn't I be able to recognize my mom on her bike? Her bike, I knew. I don't know. There's so many things that it's so confusing because She's telling me that I'm lying about everything. But still, I have to go in the morning to this daycare center that you go to before you go to school. I believe this is the place, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's a place that you can go to before school in the morning if your parents have to work and... uh, Again, you can go to after school until your parents pick you up. In my case, it was different. My mom called me in the morning and she normally put some clothes on the bed that I could take on. And I put it on and went to this place. And um, in the afternoon when they were closing, I I got sent off home um, to stay in the flat alone or play on the streets or whatever I was doing. I don't really remember. I I do remember little things. This is the playground and they had a summer party once and um, my mom didn't even come to that. But my grandma, she went and it was, it was, it was nice. Um, before I, I moved to this place, I was living at my grandma and grandpa's place for quite a while. My mom is claiming that it was only three weeks or something like that, but I can see in the records, we have in Denmark records about everything that I was staying there for a lot longer than three weeks. And I remember also that I arrived in, in shorts and I got a, a big thick winter coat. It was called a packer coat. I don't know if it was ex- existing other places in Denmark, but I got a packer coat and you don't get that in the summer because it's really hot, green furry thing, furry hat things. And um, I moved from that place, my grandma and grandpa's place, in the summer again, so I have been there almost or more than a year. I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure out if it's the right place or not, but it is this place. Um, In a minute I will go and look in some gardens and I was... I was thinking it might be there, but it is this yellow building you see now that was my daycare center. And I was actually pretty pretty happy to be there. Um, I remember playing the drums and hurting my foot and there was a big fuss about my hurting my foot because I was walking barefooted all the time. I still do. I still love being... Uh, walking around with no shoes or no socks or no nothing on because I feel uh, liberated. Um, every morning I had to go this way with all the other school kids and um, 
it was just the way it was. But I was quite happy living here because I had all these people um, who looked after me and and I didn't think that there was something wrong with me being left on my own all the time. Um, today uh, I am blaming my mom for not taking good care of me. Um, no child should be left alone as much mm -hmm. as I was. No child deserve that loneliness or that feeling of guilt that it leaves a child with. Here I'm showing you the first point I was showing where I was where I should go, and the next one was the school doctor, a little house by itself. This you can see that um, you can look at stars. I've never seen a public school where you can go and look at stars, but uh, I love the fact that you can do that. This uh, black and green stuff uh, used to be the schoolyard, but they built this. It looks like a, a sports area. Yeah, which probably good. I believe they have the the schoolyard on top of the building. This also used to be the schoolyard I was playing. We were playing a game called uh, All My Chickens Come Home. I don't know if you have that in England or I de don't even remember how to play it anymore. But this um, green stuff is still at the other schoolyard. Um, and I had to walk around the corner and enter the building that way. But it's a Sunday, so I can't go. The school is closed. But I can go around and, and show you this way. So I'm doing that. I only went to school here for a few months. My mom forgot to put me in school, sign me up for school. So I went to school too late. I really don't get all this because he's saying one thing and and the papers about me say other things and I remember a third thing and I I really don't know but I like being here so uh, I was pretty sad that I had to leave again because soon you had to move again and um, but. It was it was a nice place and I liked I liked it here, but again I I liked it everywhere. And still she 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 is my mom. My mom is saying that I was the tr trouble. I was I was a pain in the ass and things like that and I don't get it because I know for a fact that people loved having me but it seems like everybody but my mom loved having me and and that that is exact the exact same picture today because my mom is still thinking that I'm a all the worst word you can find but everybody else wants to be my friend, almost everybody. And and people want to talk to me in the street and things like that. I just want to show you here that I remember we went here to, to have a gymnastic. And this is the only school I have ever been to where they washed your gymnastic clothes. So you never had an excuse for not having any clothes that you forgot it at home or something like that. That's a good excuse. Um, but you couldn't do that here. And I never got my clothes with me when we moved. But I remember that uh, when I stopped at this school in the, in the summer holiday, um, my grandma and grandpa were picking me up and 